I'm sorry, you don't like it. Oh my god, my depression is gone. It's a very good gift. This look right here. Oh, hi, sweet. Hi, I'm Lily Reinhardt, and today I'm with BuzzFeed answering your fan questions and playing with puppies. They're over there. Yay! Hello. Oh my god, my depression is gone. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi, sweet. <laughs> oh. Hello, you little sweet chunk. Wow, everything is so okay in my life right now. Hello, you wanna go right there? I thought it was very easy to actually play two characters. Well, because they're the same girl. It's the same girl, just in two different situations. So that wasn't really too difficult, but um, come here. Oh, I'm sorry, what's the matter? Oh, you're crying and it's so cute. Okay, you can go over there. Hello, can I see you? <laughs> No, there wasn't a specific storyline that I preferred over the other. I think that that would be too hard to pick. I think they're both really beautiful in their own way. You are so cute. Can I? I'll let you come at your own pace. Oh, they all left me. <laughs> come here, puppies. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh my God. I had a really wonderful time after set one day with David. We did karaoke of the song Shallow from A Star Is Born together. We belted it at the top of our lungs driving home from set one night and that was really beautiful. You good? <laughs> it was a really beautiful moment. Honestly, it's reaffirmed how much I really love being a part of projects from start to finish. Come here, my love. Hey, you want to play? So cute. Yes, it's just really reaffirmed that I love being a part of everything, all aspects, casting, you know, create, developing the script. It's really just such a fun process and so, um, they're fighting. It's so rewarding at the end of the day when the project comes together and I know that I was truly there from the start, from the finish, and I had my hand in all aspects of it, so. Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> That's a really hard question. I think I always would have wanted to be on Game of Thrones. That's just, you know, the most iconic show of all time. So, it's probably Game of Thrones. I'd play Betty all day, every day. I really am so happy with playing Betty. I would not want to play anyone else. What do you have? You <laughs> kind of Cammy. Camila is the one who says and sees the trends and, and brings them to us. And most of the time I say I'm not doing that because it's dancing and I hate dancing. She's gotten me to do a couple, but I definitely, um, <laughs> she definitely comes up with, with a lot of the ideas. Hi. I met Jen on set. It was like right when we were walking to set, I didn't meet her ahead of time. So it was a little, intimidating and kind of scary, but we were doing a scene where she was like putting her arms around me and comforting me. So it was a very beautiful way to meet JLo. My friend Taylor, I don't have my phone, otherwise I would call her. She'll always answer a FaceTime. But my friends don't FaceTime me out of the blue because they know that I really hate phone calls and FaceTimes, they give me anxiety. So out of respect for my anxiety, they don't FaceTime me unless I request it. Yay! We're in love. Oh, sorry, you don't like it. <laughs> this look right here. I don't know when it was, 2018, it was the CFDAs, it was 
Brock collection, uh, a very pretty floral number. Felt very me, and all the dogs have left me again. Come here. <laughs> For Riverdale, when our characters graduated high school, I took home my diploma, Betty's diploma. I have like hoarding tendencies where I collect too many things, so I try not to take too much home out of my own mental health. Come here, you. I don't consider myself a celebrity unless I'm doing this right here, right now, because who else gets to do this? I think I would love to rewatch Everything Everywhere All at Once. I saw that in theaters when it came out a month ago and I just cried and I laughed. I thought it was such an amazing movie and I would love to relive that experience. Come here, come here you, come here. <gasps> Yay, Yay. Yes. You can baby. auditioned for many a things, lost a lot of things. I auditioned for Glee. I auditioned for Tom Hooper's Les Mis for Cosette and had to fly to New York and sing in person in front of him, which was the most terrifying thing in the world. Yeah, obviously didn't get it. Probably a good thing because I'm not a classically trained singer and I would have embarrassed myself. Recently a fan made me a portrait of Milo, my dog, <laughs> out of like individually placed gems. And it was so just intricate and I just thought that was the coolest gift. Anything Milo related is a very, it's a very good gift. Are you chewing my, oh sh chewing my Dolce & Gabbana shoes? <laughs> no, you're not. Halo Santo, like a, the stick that you burn for creative energy in my trailer. I just saged my whole house yesterday. I like to, I like to do that to my space. So in my trailers, I like to have a little bit of a, like a sage stick or something. I don't know. Probably Lady Gaga when I went to the Met. Uh, whenever she was the host uh, for the theme camp. I think it was 2018. She was at the top of the steps greeting everyone. Stop chewing the Dolce's. I'm sorry, you're so cute, but you cannot chew the Dolce's. You can sit right here though. Saw her at the top of the stairs and looked right into her eyes and was genuinely, couldn't find my, my words. I was like, ah, so, uh, thank you for having me and walked away. And that was very embarrassing. You're just chilling out over here, huh? I feel like my nervous system is reset. My cortisol levels are normal. I have ample serotonin and I'm ready for anything after this puppy treatment. Thank you for watching my interview. All these puppies are at Wagmore Pets and I hope you watch Look Both Ways on Netflix, August 17th. I'm just gonna go to this for a second. Just go like this. Just go like this. Okay. Yay! Yay! Oh, I love the way they smell. They just smell so good. Why are you humping your sibling?